Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to do a Shin Godzilla uh, NECA figure review. So this will be pretty... Oh, it's tail fell off. Um, so yeah, I ended up finding him. Uh, I actually found him three pieces to take off. So I found him like this, but all the pieces were kind of separate from each other. But I found his body. A male machine would find his tail, and I finally found his head. And then it, I decided um, I could finally use him properly, because now he has actually has a head. So I'm going to move like this. Put his head back on, and we'll put his tail back on, and I'll be right, I'll be right back. Now I'll do a flash on, so it'll be a little brighter. Um, that's okay. So I was, guess I want to check out his sculpt and his paint first. Now I like his paint a lot, too. It's pretty accurate to the movie, more accurate to the movie than S.A.'s Monster. It's, and it's a lot cheaper, around $20, so... It's already a cool bonus. And then the spikes are pretty good, too. And if you step on them, they might break off, possibly. But there's a lower chance because they're softer rubber. And you won't hurt his foot as much as you step on them if you step on something like this. But yeah, also, I can't really like that Godzilla figures have so much articulation. They have a lot more articulation, or tend to have more articulation than uh, dinosaur figures do. So that's pretty cool bonus to Godzilla right here. Um, I like the sculpt a lot too. It's very movie accurate too. Yeah. His head can fall off sometimes, but it's a ball joint so you just pop it back on. Not uh, much of a problem at all. Now for articulation, you can move his mouth uh, um, open and close it. You can't really move it side to side. But that no, doesn't matter. Then you can move his head up and down and then side to side. And then um, down here, just the base of the neck, you can move his head like that. So you can do some crazy movements. Like that sometimes. So I'm going to go to this guy. When he can do pretty much the same thing too. I'm going to be comparing these two figures to each other. So they both have the same articulation so far. Um, I'll be right back. I'll come back, and, um, I put on Shin's head. He falls off sometimes. Um, and then this bird gets a little bit different. So, you can move his arms in and out like that. This one could do the same. It can move forward and back. Forward and back. And then you also have this joint right here, which this one does not possess. And a, um, hand. Little area that you can move as well. And then you got the the waist joint, which some uh, of the Jurassic World toys do have, like a T Rex and one. Get it right now, right here. Right there. And then um, you move the legs like that. You could do the same with this one too. And then you can also move. Knee joint, which this one does not possess, but it doesn't really affect that much. It doesn't do too much, really. And then you can move the ankles on both. I don't know if you're necessarily supposed to, but it's possible. And then tail, you can move this one. Um. Oh, yeah. Come on. down this button and chops and stuff. Usually Godzilla toys don't have something like that. And they can spin his tail of course, which moves his head. Which is pretty cool. But Shin Godzilla has much more articulation with all these points right here. Um and this figure is bigger than um the monster vs. Ghidorah, I mean, Godzilla, uh, which is pretty accurate to the 2014 one, but the 2019 one ended up uh, outgrowing it, so I'm going to show you some size comparisons, and I'll be right back. There we go, these two, so those, those two next to each other. It's a pretty good sizing, especially Shin Godzilla's tail, it's huge. I really like that, so you can see those two next to each other. Now I'll show you some cool poses you can get them in. 
like I did with Mothra. I don't, actually, I don't know if I did that, but I know I did it with him for sure, so I'll be right back. So you kind of make him in this angry pose like someone just stole his chicken nuggets or something. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going get pretty angry. Shit. A little focus. And I'll snatch him. And I'll get him into another pose, but this time I'll include another figure. In other words, uh, the 2019 Monsterverse. There we go, so we got these two. There's each other, so looks like these two are about to battle each other. So, yeah. And we'll get them in the last, uh, some, um, last ones, and then we'll end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.